Hello, it's me, Helene, here back for a few today to go over the new Spring 2021 Crochet Exclamation Point Catalog. So excited to finally have this in my hot little hands because I have been looking since the very beginning of January, and so is my husband for me at every grocery store, any place that we thought that there would be magazines. So last week I was in a local store, um, kind of in the town down near us, and I couldn't believe it. They got them in and they only had two, two issues of these. That was it. I'm going to show you the glossary in the back that has all the photos in it, what came with this issue, and then I've already kind of pre-marked some pages just to show you the highlights of what really called to me. But I just, I love crochet books, stitch books, uh, magazines, and it gives me a lot of inspiration and ideas, and I do on occasion make something out of it. Okay, so it came actually in cellophane this time, which it usually does not because they have included, and I noticed on the shelf in the crochet world that you also get the same little extra easy peasy afghans by Crochet World. So there's a little booklet there. All right, so the big unveiling. Can you hear Tasha whining in the background? It's like a little kid that way as soon as I start doing something and talking. She wants attention. She's like, what's going on with her? Who is she talking to? Myself, <laughs> apparently. No. Okay, so this comes with all kinds of little inserts. You can save 50% off of Digital Crochet Moroccan Tile Afghan Club. So if that's something that interests you, you can always go to annie'scatalog.com. And here's a 53% off the crochet magazine where you can sign up. They have different specials all the time, but you, you know, you always get those little inserts in there. So here's the easy peasy crochet world. Woo, that's a little dizzying. Do you like stuff like that? Or do you find that just like hard on the eyes? I think it's interesting, but it kind of makes me, I like want to go cross-eyed. Oh, but there are some quite, quite a few. I really like the one on the cover. It reminds me a little bit, a little bit of the reflections blanket that I did uh, not that long ago, except this one has more of a wave to the pattern versus just Kind of straight across but then that d depends on um, where you stop and start the colors too at least on the one that I did but it looks very similar anyway I like that I like the colors very much here's a solid wine country throw that's real pretty this is like a chevron or ripple stitch with some texture to it oh here's a pretty one some of these stitches look familiar yeah, that's, this is nice. This is a very nice um, little addition to this. What a great way to start off the new year with a fabulous couple of loaded patterns. Uh, I don't know, I didn't expect that. So this one, not the cute little baby on the back. Okay, so I'm going to show you at a glance, all the different patterns. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 18 different patterns. And so I'm not gonna show you every single one, just some select few here, but those are what? Uh, coasters, heart four corner heart coasters, beautiful scarf, this, pattern here, which I'll show you is one of the main reasons why I got that. And oh gosh, a couple of different tops, few, three different tops in here, a bowl set, two bags, love that top, oh, like wraps, a shawl, a couple of different styles of jackets. 
I'm like to me this is this was just a huge a little something for everyone a huge hit a big wow and the one I think I got at the beginning of last year was really good also okay so again this is the spring 2021 and it is the U.S. price $7.99 and Canada is a dollar more that just might be fun to go through together. Let me know. Do you do you like when I do these catalog reviews? Even if you don't read patterns, do you find them fun, interesting? Here's the blue dahlia. I thought this was so pretty, and I love the tassels at the bottom and how you get the nice finished edge. And it looks like it's going to be, um, yeah, it's like a 10 row repeat. I figured it was going to be quite a few because of the intricacy of the design, but even a lace weight or number three weight, you, you could use a variety of types of yarns with this. I thought that was quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. I really like that one a lot. Ah, uh, Morocco, Broco, Modern Cotton, and the Medium Worsted. So you get, uh, for 100 grams, 209 yards per skein. It's a Medium, Pima Cotton, and um, Modal Rayon. And I actually have this yarn in a DK weight, and it is lovely. And even the Medium weight is a lighter weight. It's not a heavy worsted. It's It's so soft and smooth and silky and glides. It just has a lovely, lovely hand to that. I thought that was real pretty. And I really like um, Barocco. I don't know, is it Barocco, Barocco? Anyone know? What is the jury on that one? Okay, so these socks by Ron, R-O-H-N Strong. Anyway, there are a few, couple, few videos of his socks on YouTube. So you can do this on YouTube, follow along on tutorials if you're a visual learner or you don't know how to read patterns. And so I enjoy both. So I thought, oh, how wonderful, because I've talked about this before. I really want to make these, but I also like having a written pattern. So for me, this was almost just worth it, you know, just for this one pattern right here. And these are beginner crochet toe, is it called toe up socks? I saw that, I did, where did I see that? Beginner toe up crochet socks, and there they are. It says that this was first published in autumn 2013. It's been one of the favorites and it was brought back and updated in a new color. And I actually, I think the one I saw was longer. It was a tunic. That's what it was. And it was from last year. But for me, I don't do so much in the crop tops anymore. I just, I, I like more of that elongated kind of lengthening look and covering up certain areas. But um, I, this would be something you could easily, easily extend. But that, that was cute it's open it's just kind of free you could use that uh, in, in a lighter weight in the summer as a cover up and make it maybe mid thigh or wear it with leggings now here the cover story i think it's very attractive you know part of me it's, it looks lacy and floral another part it almost kind of looks like a spider's web i don't know but i think that's lovely and with a camisole or even just a real lightweight little layering top underneath that and i really like how in these magazines they have a range of sizes and what i like i always look is how it lays on the body does it give a nice smooth line or is it sticking out in in any kind of way and sometimes kind of get an idea on the finished look um, and that I always look look at the seams the neckline the bust the arms you know how it looks on the model and of course she's beautiful of course it looks good on her you know 
but it at least gives an indication to me how it may or may not work for me and if I'm going to have to do any modifications and how involved that would be if that's something that I could figure out or if I just I don't want to mess with. Now this one I didn't mark. I thought those was pretty just because the colors are so beautiful and I think a person has to have uh, the right shape to be able to pull that off because um, I certainly don't need extra flounce in that area. <laughs> But for those of you who can wear it or even modify it in such a way, it's, it's different. You know, it's modern. It's different. See, now I like this. I could live in something like this in the summertime. This is the one I was thinking of that is super oversized. I'll wait till you see the, um, the measurements on that. Even without having to change the pattern at all, you could just use one of the smaller sizes if you didn't want it so boxy and so like blousen because I can tell, see like I start saying how it lays, you see how there's some gathering in the front and how it's sticking out a little at the side. That could be the way her arm is laying. And it looks really cute on her, um, but I, you know, I, I like things that are a little more slimming. I don't mind boxy, but I also like to follow the lines of the bottle, bottle body somewhat to give some shape. So the sizes here, they show from extra small to 3X. However, okay, the extra small bust 40 inches and the 3X 64 inches. So either there's a misprint or the, on the inches, or this is really oversized. So I might work this one up and in this yarn just for the heck of it, see how it turns out, because it looks like it would be something pretty simple. But I actually started a top last year, last summer, um, to present, to give to you as a tutorial, and I'm going to do it this year. I really hope so. That's the plan anyway. I want to, and it's working up really nicely. It's just time came and went so quickly, and before I knew it, it was the end of the summer. I thought, oh, here we are, almost fall. I'm going to save it. I'm about halfway finished with it, so that, that will be something that I really want to do this year, and I'm really enjoying it so far a lot. But just, uh, just take, for example, size large. Okay, we compare to the first one, which was 45 and a half inches, 51 and a half. That's like a 1X, so definitely oversized. You know what I'm thinking, too, that um, that could almost maybe be like a cute little t-shirt dress if you extended it or a tunic, you know, to do that, too. All right, let's see. Oh, couple more. I still wasn't going to go through, but here, this page by page, I just want to show that to you. I think that's super cute. You know, you don't have to do all the lettering or anything, but um, if you want to learn how to, well, there you go. But these little motifs and add-ons like the bee and the flower, those could be used for other things. It doesn't have to be just for that bag. So it's fine. You get some extra motifs in here as well in addition to the cross-pollination bag. So you get all kinds of different flowers there. I think that's so attractive, and I like how, I mean, it, look, look, her lipstick <laughs> and her outfit matches. Same with the other gal, that, that uh, boxy t-shirt too, her lipstick matched the top, I thought was real cute. And I'm gonna show you the back side of that because it, to me, that would be a standalone without adding anything to that because of the texture. And I like the handles look very sturdy. And you could probably make those as long you know, or short as you wanted. And this was another one that really caught my eye. Natural Hemp. It's the necklace and bracelet set. Incorporating beads and crochet. Um, and here, here it is, a close-up picture. Now, personally, I would not use the hemp. I think I would go with these, what I have, and probably a mercerized cotton. 
in a light number three or maybe even a number two um, it, for strength and resiliency and you get that natural sheen from the process and it comes in so many beautiful colors from a natural and into colors and then you can mix and match and coordinate excuse me with the beads and that yarn is going to give a bit more drape also and excuse me and it's going to be uh, less stiff and bulky looking than the hemp but um and also it's just an idea i think well, i like the earthiness of the hemp too it's just another take on it but instead of what i might do is creating a pendant with the hemp i would maybe just do the necklace portion and then leave a center space for my own pendant and maybe do a beaded you know because i do jewelry and beading and stuff too so could probably do a couple of things out of that and then here is a v-stitch motif jacket nice little jacket there i mean this is just chock full of so many designs now here's one last one i'm going to show you and of course there are, there are others in here and you can always go on to um, annie's and order online also and i believe that they show online the catalog where you can look more close up to on your computer at the different patterns and then sometimes after the catalog's been out for a while, you can go online and just purchase individual cat, um, patterns also. This tunic, I really like this. Now, I don't typically look good with the midriff type style or this baby doll style, but it doesn't like um, gather or poof out like, like a baby doll. And, and um, I just thought that was really different and I like the different types of stitches that are used as well. But anyway, my idea was that this could be worn as a maternity top too, because you could go up maybe a little larger hook size or to the next size up. Um, and this gives, this goes from small to three X. I don't know. It was just a thought and, and, you know, just looking at the shape, it kind of reminded me of a maternity top anyway. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, yes. And what's nice, too, is they do have some charts here. So if you work from charts and don't read patterns, now... And they even show you the, the body measurements and the construction. And then here's a close-up, too. There's nothing like good pictures, you know, so you can really see what's what and what it's supposed to look like and be like and the shape and everything. Yeah, so I'm excited. Regardless of what I do with this or make with it, I just thought it would be fun to get it and look at it and ooh and I ah, and get inspired and see what I might want to make and just share that with all of you. So my tea's cold. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me today and for being here. Ooh, as always, don't want to knock anything over. <laughs> you just see how I have, have things set up right now. Improvise, improvise. All right, well, my fiber friends and family, take care, take good care of yourselves, and I hope to see you again next time. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed that, and please remember, if you haven't already, to like, share, and subscribe. All right, see you again soon. Bye for now.